Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and um, I almost said hello again, it's Lockwood, because that's uh, what this padlock is. I was just thinking about Lockwood padlocks, and I was like, uh, hello again, it's Lockwood. Um, so, no, it's it's Lock Noob, and I, I got this very cool um, Lockwood padlock in a trade recently. Um, Australian made. It's a 23445. Very nice padlock, but it's one with a restricted keyway. Um, and I believe that this is a key in knob cylinder, kick cylinder inside here. Um, don't know much about it other than that. Uh, Bay City Locksmiths. What if they're still around? Do not copy. And you can see the restricted keyway on this because it's uh, like lots of, of restricted keyways. The warding is uh, weird and fierce. Although it's not massively paracentric. I'm actually going to try and pick it with this Peterson gem, which is 18,000th and should have no problems at all in just reaching all the way up inside that keyway. The key itself, again, very strange bitting. Um, could be a challenge if it wasn't for such an open keyway. So we have some highs here, lows and the top. I've not had a look inside this. Normally Lockwoods are standard beveled pins, can be a real pain to pick. Um, works very nice, just a really, really nice padlock. I mean, a, what, a, what a nice little thing. Um, so cool, let's stick this in a vise. Let's uh, have a pick on it and see what we have inside. Okay, so we're all nice in the vise. Um, probably going to pick this top of the keyway. We've got some um, nice warding on the inside of the lock, but it's not particularly paracentric. Like these uh, restricted keyway locks, they always have kind of cool keys, like um, some kind of like corrugated steel, all nicely working. It says trying to remove the key from it. Okay, so picking it, going to use a Peterson gem in 18,000th. Going to try and um, probably use top of QA tension like this and see what we can find on the inside. So I think it's a six pin lock. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to count it as if it's six and if it's five, well, we'll figure it out. Feels like pin two, tiny click. Um, pin six there. Ooh, gritty, a bit like a serrated pin. Pin five now. Little click. Pin two, little click and some movement. Just feeling pin one there, not much. Pin six again, little click. Nothing on five. Pin four now. Feels like it's binding a little bit, maybe. Three, two, ah, one's now got a little click on it. Good, good, good. Still sitting on six. Oh, ah, and a bit of a false set, maybe. Five, four, three, two, pin one, six, and felt like actually a bit of counter rotation, like a spool. I'd love to know what's inside this thing. Going along the pins again, just feeling on pin three now. Absolutely nothing on pin three or pin two. Oh, little click on pin one and a bit more core advancement. It feels like some serrated pins in this. I don't know any Lockwoods with serrated pins in, which is a bit odd. Feels like lots of counter rotation on pin five there. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and we're open. How strange. What an odd feeling lock. We're definitely open. Um, is that shackle opening or have I just trapped it against the um, the vise? There we go, got it open. How strange. Well, I, I can't wait to find out what's in here.
Okay, so um, I wasn't expecting that. I thought this was a stock lock. Um, I thought it was a bit weird with all of these uh, like spools and sort of serrated feeling things. But yeah, that was that was really really odd. Uh, but yeah, nevertheless, here it is. This is it in its in all its glory. Um, it looks like it was a challenge lock. We have like a a tapered serrated pin here. It looks like standard in pin two. A a little spool in pin three. Definitely a double spool in uh, position four. Position five is just a a deep, almost like a gin bottle spool, and pin six is. Well, it's, it was this way around in the lock. Um, I think some form of double spool, a bit like this one, but maybe just not as well defined. Okay, wow. So <laughs> just goes shows sometimes um, you, you you just don't get what you expect inside a lock. There you go. Um, turns out this was a challenge lock, Lockwood. Cool. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching that, and um, I'll see you all next time.